Hello students. Today we will talk about electric flux. We will try to understand concept of electric flux. We will see how to find out electric flux and we will also see uh, what are the units of electric flux, how to measure electric flux. So let us start. Uh, electric flux is basically a quantity which is uh, giving us some idea about the electric field linked with the surface under consideration. So suppose we have and uh, A is the area vector of this surface. Now let us put this surface into some external electric field E. So as we can see that there are some electric field lines passing through this surface. Consider another situation where again we have the same electric field and same surface with the area vector A. Area vector is always perpendicular to the surface as shown here. But now uh, the area vector is uh, perpendicular to the direction of electric field. So here, uh, if you notice, the field lines are not passing through the surface. There are field lines above the surface. There are field lines below the surface, but no field lines are passing through the surface. Consider one more situation where again we have the same electric field E, but now the surface is placed with some other orientation. So now we have area vector going in some random direction and uh, there is some angle which is neither 0 nor 90 between area vector and electric field. So if we can uh, quantify, if we can associate some number mathematically with this situation, for this situation and uh, for this situation uh, which can describe how many field lines are linked with the surface or how many field lines are passing through the surface, then that quantity is called electric flux. Electric flux is basically scalar product of electric field and area vector. Means uh, if we denote flux with phi, I can say that phi is E dot A. So let us try to find out flux for the first situation. Uh, we know that uh, angle between electric field and area, area vector here is zero. So how do we express flux? We can say that uh, flux is E dot A, that is E A cos theta and how much is the theta? Theta is zero and cos of zero is one. So flux is E A. In this situation, flux is uh, very simple. It is uh, electric field and area, surface area. Let us go to second situation. Here is 90. Look at this area vector is going up and electric field is horizontal. So what is the angle between E and A? It is 90 degree and uh, flux. So we can say that again, if we apply the formula of phi, phi is E dot A and then we have E A cos 90. What is cos 90? 0. So flux is 0. And it is very clear from the figure also. Uh, look at the figure. There are no field lines passing through the surface. As I said, there are field lines uh, passing from the upper side of the surface, from lower side of the surface, but not through the surface. Consider third situation. Uh, what is the case here? In this uh, situation, we have some field lines are passing through the surface, but uh, as compared to the first situation and uh, compared to second one, the field here is uh, neither maximum nor zero. So let us try to find out flux here. Here we can say that the angle between E and A is theta and uh, hence if we try to find out flux, uh, we can say that phi is vector E dot vector A and that is E A cos theta. So obviously flux here is uh, less than the first situation and more than second situation and it is very clear from the diagram also. So this is flux. Uh, we can say that flux is a mathematical concept. It is giving us idea about the number of field lines passing through the given surface perpendicularly. But uh, life is not always as simple as this. We can have some other situations also. So uh, what if uh, not simply plane surface? 
or uh, what if the electric field is not uh, uniform the way we saw uh, not necessary that always the electric field is uniform so what do we do then consider the same area and now electric field is uh, like this is possible electric field if you consider point charge here uh, the electric field lines would be going like this okay now let us consider that uh, electric field is uh, uniform but the surface is not uniform consider a curved surface and uh, in this case if you consider area vector here if you consider area vector here if you consider area vector here they have different directions okay let us move further consider point charge we know that for point charge electric field lines are going outward if it is positive so what if we have some closed surface around this charge so now electric field for this part is going in positive x direction electric field for this part is going in some negative x direction here in some other direction so electric field vectors are having different directions in different part of this closed surface so what now there is a problem that uh, if we look at this three uh, our formula of flux which says that uh, flux is scalar product of electric field and area vector so in this situation if i try to apply e dot a the problem is i have e i have a but i don't have constant value of cos theta uh, look at the angle between area vector and electric field here look at the angle between area vector and electric field here look at the angle here so for different part of this surface the angle is changing its value come to second situation again this is the area vector this is the electric field there is some angle look at this area vector and electric field both are parallel for this part of this curved surface and if we go to other part the angle between e and a is having some other value come to the last situation again electric field is constantly changing its value for different part of the surface and hence the theta uh, may be different or you can say electric field itself is changing its direction so how do we find out electric uh, flux for this situations because sometimes uh, here e is constant and area is uh, changing because of the shape here area is constant but electric field the angle is changing and here electric field intensity is constant but direction is not constant so uh, how to deal with this type of situation so here uh, maths uh, will help us what we can do is uh, if you have one of the three quantity changing uh, rather than finding out flux in one go uh, we can choose small part of the surface like uh, consider small part here and uh, let the area of that small part be da and then i can say that see for this my uh, da surface element uh, i have fixed value of e and a and angle between the two and then what i will do is first i will find out flux linked with the small surface element uh, we can use this formula because now I have a fixed value of E, fixed value of A and a constant value of theta. And then we can integrate it over uh, the surface to find out total flux. So this is how we can find out uh, flux linked. For the situation where you have either E or A or theta changing. And if you have closed surface uh, like this then the notation is slightly different though procedure remains same first you take small area find out flux linked with small area this d phi is flux linked with small area da and uh, then integrate uh, over the surface total surface area and uh, symbol here is this which is called integration over closed surface so this is how we can find out flux linked with closed surface uh, this is the formula for flux linked with uh, any situation where we have E or A or theta not constant. So let us summarize. 
So now we can say that uh, electric flux is a mathematical concept which is uh, trying to make us realize about how many field lines are linked with uh, our surface or uh, how many field lines are passing perpendicularly through our surface. Uh, how do we find out electric flux? We can say that electric flux can be found out by taking a scalar product of electric field and area and uh, in some difficult situation we may need to use uh, integration or else uh, closed integration but it is scalar quantity and uh, unit of electric flux uh, is newton meter square per coulomb or a volt into meter so this is the minimum basic things about electric flux we should be knowing we will discuss uh, further uh, about electric flux in detail later on. Thank you.